The UK Overseas Territory of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands harbours some of the greatest concentrations of seabirds and marine mammals on Earth. Recent population surveys counted more than 70 million animals across the two island groups. But these immense breeding colonies can only exist here because of the rich marine life that occurs in the waters of the surrounding Southern Ocean. The waters here are cold and icy, so you might imagine that there isn't a lot of life here. But these icy realms hold a surprising secret. Every winter, temperatures on Antarctica plunge to minus 60 or more. The freezing conditions cause the surface of the Southern Ocean to turn to ice. Immense stretches of sea ice effectively double the size of Antarctica. Few animals can overwinter on the frozen wastes. But paradoxically, things are very different for the marine life below the ice. Algae grow within the sheets of floating sea ice so that when the ice melts in spring, a flood of nutrients is released. As the sea ice spans tens of millions of square kilometers of the Southern Ocean, literally millions of tons of algae are released each year and nourish uncountable numbers of krill. Krill directly underpins much of the ecosystem of the Southern Ocean, and they're the main food of many of the baleen whales and seabirds that occur here. The seabirds are then in turn food for predators on land, such as giant petrels. But the marine wildlife around South Georgia is surprising in its own right. The waters are home to rich communities of invertebrates. But life can take place here on a different time scale. Many of these animals grow slowly in the cold waters and their lifetimes can span centuries. Communities of cold water sponges can be surprisingly colorful. Nearby, starfish hunt in the shallows for mollusks. And many species of sea urchins graze the rocks for morsels. Intricate feather dusters filter the water with their fine arms. And predatory sea spiders hunt for food. Not true spiders, they belong to a family all their own. Some of the animals found here are surprisingly intricate. Nudibranchs, known as sea slugs, crawl over the rocks. And in the shallow waters, a sea gooseberry swims using its iridescent cilia. The Southern Ocean is only beginning to give up its secrets. New species continue to be found here every year and even greater discoveries continue to be made. A British Antarctic Survey remote operated vehicle descends from the surface into the waters around the South Sandwich Islands. The underwater world here has only ever been glimpsed on a few previous occasions. As the ROV submerges, it encounters the tentacles of a seven-meter-long jellyfish. 
Then, out of the darkness, active geothermal vents emerge. An alien world that few have ever seen before. The ROV discovers dense groups of peltasterid snails adapted to the extreme conditions. And nearby, large numbers of yeti crabs. These strange crustaceans are covered with silky strands that appear to cultivate symbiotic bacteria. They spend their adult lives clinging to the rocks, feeding off bacteria and scavenging any morsels of food that they can find. Nearby, the ROV finds an active hot smoker. This vent billows superheated water, rich with minerals that fuels this miniature ecosystem in the cold, dark waters of the Southern Ocean. The ROV collects samples, then begins its journey back to the surface. Only a tiny fraction of the deep sea bed around South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands has ever been explored. It raises the question of what else could be down there. In the past, these waters were severely overfished. Seven whaling stations were established on South Georgia and tens of thousands of whales were killed right up to the 1960s. Before the whales were targeted, fur seals and elephant seals were hunted in vast numbers. Many of these marine mammals were pushed to the very brink of extinction. But thankfully, just enough of each species survived. And in recent years, an immense marine reserve has been set up, conserving around 1.24 million square kilometers of the Southern Ocean to protect the unique marine wildlife of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands for the future. This film was made possible by the South Georgia Heritage Trust, the Friends of the British Overseas Territories, and the Don Hansen Charitable Foundation.